Hi, this is Michael Rubin, and we've been working on the modes of the C major scale, and we've looked at the first four, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, and Lydian, and we've said that for most uh, music that, except if you like jazz, classical, or some world music, you're going to be focusing on the first two, Ionian and Dorian, and not on Phrygian and Lydian. Uh, we're going to work out the next three. There are seven modes of the C major scale because there are seven notes in C major. So, um, <clears throat> the next one is called Mixolydian, and it would be starting on the key of G, but using the notes from C major, so G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, um, it creates a bluesy flavor. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my backing tracks to play a bluesy chord, the G dominant seventh chord, and I'm going to play using only the white notes on my uh, C harmonica, and uh, it will sound bluesy. So hold on a second. Give me a second to set up the backing track. Here we go. sounds like cross harp, because it is cross harp. Uh, Mixolydian is <coughs> pretty much the simplest way to play cross harp, um, except for maybe the, the original idea of cross harp, which is mostly draw, because the G major chord is in the draw chord. Uh, so this, this takes it one step more complex, not much more complex, which is play the play the notes from the C major scale, but tell the band to play a blues in the key of G. And what happens, you'll wind up in G mixolydian, and um, basically you can play any blow notes, any draw notes, two double bend, three double bend, and ten single bend, and you're playing blues. So, you know, it's a great way to explain to other musicians what cross harp is about. Let's say you're working with a composer and he says, I want to write a song for you, but I don't understand harmonica. You can say, well, think G mixolydian on a C harmonica. And he'll say, oh, I got it. And he'll write you a song right away. Now the reality is uh, cross harp can be slightly more complex than playing G mixolydian on a C harmonica. Have you ever been playing cross harp and played the note four bend? Well, that note, four bend, is the note C sharp, or D flat. That is not a note from the C major scale. The C major scale is all white notes. So when I played that D flat, I went outside of the Mixolydian scale. Because of... When you learn how to blow, draw, bend, and overblow, you have every note on a keyboard for three octaves on any diatonic harmonica. That means you could play any scale or group of notes that you want. As long as the band is playing in the key of G, and you're on a C harmonica, you are playing cross harp, or second position. So the actual notes in the scale don't matter. The root, as compared to the key of the harp is what matters. And so, you know, cross harp basically means playing a key that is a fifth higher than the key of the harmonica you're playing. And it doesn't matter if you're using the Mixolydian scale or not. However, the Mixolydian scale is a great way to get started understanding cross harp. So, the next scale I want to look at is Aeolian. A-E-O-L-I-A-N, and if you're using the notes from the C major scale, Aeolian would start on the sixth note, A. Now it's coincidental that Aeolian begins with the letter A, <coughs> and the key we're looking at is A. But it's a nice coincidence, it makes it easy to remember. Now, you know, if you're in another 
key, if you're using another major scale, say the major scale, G major scale, you got to find the, the sixth note from that scale, which would be E. So if you played the, no the notes from the G major scale, but started and ended on E, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, that's the E Aeolian scale. So this scale is uh, very handy for playing minor, for playing sad music. And it's got uh, two other names. So what I'm going to give you are synonyms for the word Aeolian. Okay? The natural minor scale and the relative minor scale. So it's called the relative minor scale because it's related to the C major scale. It has the same notes. So you might hear people say A is the relative minor of C or C is the relative major of A. E is the relative minor of G. G is the relative major of E. So it's so popular that quite often I will be at a jam session and I'll say to the leader, what key are we in? And he'll say, we're in the key of C. And I'll get out something to play in the key of C, say an F harp, cross harp. And I'll start playing. And I'll say, this is not in the key of C. This is in the key of A. A minor. And he'll say, same difference. And I'll say, no, it's not. Not only would I choose a different harmonica, because I like the way that minor sounds in fourth or fifth position or third position, as opposed to second position, the actual notes that I'm playing might be the same. But the sound of the notes that I'm playing will be different. Now, there are some people who hear notes like you see colors. That's a C note. That's a D note. These per people have perfect pitch. But most of us do not listen to music that way. Most of us hear the relationships between the keynote and the note that the melody player is playing. So let's say the keynote is C and you play a C note. So keynote, C note. It's the same note. What's the relationship? How far are those notes away from each other? Well, they are zero keyboard notes away from each other. But let's say the band is playing in the key of A, and you play a C note. How far is it from A to C? A goes up to A sharp, one note, B, two notes, C, three notes. C is three notes higher than A. And that is what most people hear. So if the band if you if the band is playing in A minor and you're playing as though you're in C major, every note you play is going to sound on pitch because every note is a member of both the A minor, the A Aeolian scale, and the C major scale. Every note you play is in both scales they're going to sound on pitch. However, what the audience hears is going to sound a little funny because of the way you rise up and fall and resolve in your notes is going to be based on the C major concept and not on the A minor concept. So it will sound a little funny to the audience. It doesn't mean you won't play something that they'll like, but it's not going to make the same type of sense. So, what I've got is uh, an A minor 7 chord on my rhythm, and that's a very sad chord, and I've got a C harmonica, and I've got the notes from the C major scale, all blow notes, all draw notes, three double bend, two double bend, and ten single bend, and I'm going to play in the key of A minor using the A Aeolian scale.
heard of fourth position. That's what I was doing, playing in fourth position. And uh, it's a great way to get started in fourth position. So we'll talk more about that later, uh, probably in the next video. So the uh, final uh, mode is the one based on the seventh note of any major scale, but in the key of C major, the seventh note is B. So I'm going to play the notes B, C, D, E, G, A, B. And this mode is called Locrian, L-O-C-R-I-A-N. And I often call it the Loco scale because it's crazy. It shows up again, just like Lydian in scary movies, uh, just before the really scary part. But it also shows up in jazz. So again, if you're going to be a jazz player or a, a movie soundtrack person, get to know the Locrian scale. But um, if you're playing uh, anything but those, but jazz and classical or movie making, um, I would kind of not not pay a lot of attention to the Locrian scale. It doesn't come in very handy. Um, so I'm going to uh, put in a very special chord, which is called a minor 7 flat 5 and um, it takes the first note of the scale, the flat third, which means that you take the third note from the major scale and lower it one half step, the flat fifth, and the flat seventh. So the, the notes are going to be B, D, F, A, which actually uh, show up on your harmonica um, twice, uh, three draw, four draw, five draw, and six draw, B, D, F, A and 7 draw, 8 draw, 9 draw, and 10 draw. So if you want to play a B minor 7 flat 5 chord, that's how you can do it. It's right on your harmonica. And here we go. B Locrian scale. Hold on a second. My speaker took a fall. you to realize is that there are seven modes of the C major scale, but only four of them are really useful for playing in um, for playing in uh, any music besides jazz and classical or movie making. And that is the first mode, Ionian, the second mode, Dorian, the fifth mode, Mixolydian, and the sixth mode, Aeolian. Ionian creates a major feeling, Dorian creates a minor feeling or a blues feeling, Mixolydian creates a blues feeling, and Aeolian creates a minor feeling. Now you might have heard me say before, it is my opinion, that in America we play three types of music, major, minor, and blues, and it is very unusual that we play anything but those three types of music. They may have shades of gray, but pretty much that will get you through anything that's coming, that's thrown at you. So if you get to know those four scales, you will have a way to play major, minor, and blues in four different keys on a C harmonica. Not each one in four different keys. Um, C in the major, D in minor and blues, G in uh, mixolydian or blues, and A in and so if, if you learn those positions and you pick up another harmonica, you can do it in another key. So learn these four scales and you can, can navigate through almost any kind of music that will be uh, presented to you. And we'll talk about how to look at that in terms of positions next time. Thanks very much. I'll see you.